Hi guys, Adam Marco, and this is going to be your Thursday video report. Listen, all your discounts and promos, etc., are over on the home page. But keep in mind, today is the final day to take advantage of the opportunity to save $125 on the purchase of any handicapper's 30-day package here at the site. All you've got to do is use coupon code SAVE125. If you're in the middle of a current package, you want to extend it another 30 days, it'll just be added to your current package. You'll save the $125. And if you happen to have any instant rebates, they are applicable as well. If you ever have any questions, you can always contact customer service. Again, that is SAVE125 to save $125 off the purchase of any 30-day handicapper's purchase here. And if you want to save $50 off the purchase price of any handicapper's 7-day package, that coupon is SAVE50, S-A-V-E and the number 50, no space between them. Let me get to your complimentary play here. Tonight in the NBA, limited card, interesting game. You've got Golden State now, losers of two in a row for only the fourth time this season. They have not lost three straight games going back well into early last season. But tonight they're laying nine and a half to ten points at home against Portland. And listen, they have certainly not played well, but they don't have a lot of incentive either. Let's face it with the Warriors. Um, because, you know, they've wrapped up the Western Conference number one seed. They need one more win to have the best record in basketball for the first time since the 75-76 season. Wasn't that Al Adels, Rick Barry, and those guys back in the day? Keith Wilkes, I think. I remember watching these guys as a kid, I think. Um, anyway, listen, here's the deal with Portland. They're coming off a 106-96 loss at Brooklyn on Monday night. But they didn't have their full complement of players. They won Wednesday at home, 116-91. to Now, they also lost the last matchup at home in this series, 122-108, to back on March 24th. But LaMarcus Aldridge didn't play. Batum didn't play. Kamen didn't play. Meanwhile, you got a Warriors team that's coming up a 103-100 to loss at New Orleans on Tuesday. Trust me, I know. I had the Warriors in that game laying four, up 12 at halftime, and they managed to lose the game. And they were hammered last Sunday by the Spurs in San Antonio, 107-92. But now they're back at home. They've won 14 straight at home by an average of 14.2 points a game. They are 35-2 and two straight up at the Oracle this season. Clay Thompson in a shooting slump, just 13 total points during the two straight losses. He's averaging 21.3 on the season. Blazers have won seven of their last nine. But Golden State is undefeated in the series at home uh, this season. They've won 15 of the last 18 meetings in Oakland in the series against the Trail Blazers who, of course, are vying with the Clippers, who have won 9 out of 10, and the Spurs, who have won 9 in a row, for that final home court advantage spot in the top four seedings in the Western Conference. Portland just 4-6 and six straight up on the road against the Western Conference's top eight teams overall this entire season. Um, can a team turn it on and off? I think you're going to see the Warriors play with some intensity that they haven't shown here lately because I don't think Steve Kerr likes what he's seeing here. And as a former player, I think he knows that you've got to have your team on board and peaking going into the playoffs. And after two straight losses, I don't think that's where Kerr wants his team. So I don't think you're going to see anybody resting. I think you're going to see a refocused Golden State team again at home that has not lost three straight games in over a year and a half. And that's why I'd recommend going ahead and laying the points with the Warriors. Best of luck, guys, and I'll catch you again tomorrow when we do this one more time. Good luck, everybody.